Hi, this is Matt Bernstein with skillhance.com and in this lecture we are going to learn how to carry yourself like an authority. If you want people to see you as an authority, you need to carry yourself like one. Fortunately, that doesn't have to be very hard, but there are a few things that you should keep in mind and try to do. Help people. Every time you get a chance to help somebody out, take it. Even if this is no apparent upside for you to do so. Helping people without asking for anything in return is an excellent way to forge a new relationship and gain a loyal following. Of course, that doesn't mean that you should spend 8 hours a day helping people out for free, but reasonable requests for help should always be considered. You can bet that the people you will be helping will tell all of their friends what a helpful, friendly, and knowledgeable person that you are, further cementing your authority status. Go the extra mile. If there's one thing that truly helps when trying to become an authority figure, it's going the extra mile with everything that you do. If you're blogging, strive to make every post a masterpiece. If you're on Twitter, be more active and put out better tweets than your competitors. Look at what other established authorities in your niche are doing and work harder than them. Go the extra mile and eventually it will pay off. Network. The more people you know who can vouch for your expertise and help spread the word about your endeavors, the better. You should always be on the lookout for networking opportunities, whether it's online or in real life. Don't be too quick to rule out potential new connections either, as you never know who or what may be helpful in the long run. A person who may not be much practical use for you now could very well end up being the number one contributor to your success in the future. Embrace every network opportunity and don't risk missing out on the potential benefits. Take the initiative. If you stumble upon an opportunity to take charge and lead a project, take it. There's no better way to prove your expertise and to put you in a position where people take your advice and follow your instructions. Be humble. A true expert doesn't need to brag or purposely try to convince others how great they are. That being said, not even mentioning your skills or how successful you are would also be detrimental when you're trying to position yourself as a leading authority in your field. Try to find a balance where people are aware of your knowledge and success, but you're not trying to constantly remind them of it. Never be rude or condescending. Yes, some authority figures can get away with being rude or looking down on people simply because they've earned the right to do so. If you've ever seen the show House, you're probably quite familiar with this. However, consider that as an exception from the rule. Most of us do a lot better being friendlier and courteous. If you find yourself in a heated argument, which you're bound to be sooner or later as you make yourself more visible, take a step back and think twice before pulling out the big guns. If you slip up, there is a big risk it will haunt you for a long time. As Warren Buffett says, it takes 20 years to build up your reputation and only 10 minutes to lose it. It's simply not worth it, so you should be the bigger person and keep your authority status safe. Admit when you're wrong. Some leading experts would rather jump off from a bridge than admit that they're wrong about anything. In the end, it can make them look rather foolish. Most industries, online and offline, are constantly changing and evolving. And even a leading authority figure cannot be expected to always keep up with it. Sooner or later, you'll run into a situation where you're just plain wrong and admitting it is always better than being stubborn and acting like you can never be wrong about anything. People will simply respect you more if you admit when you're wrong. Don't be afraid of controversy. When you're trying to build up an authority status, your natural instinct may to be a shy away from controversy in order to not alienate anyone. However, a little bit of controversy can do wonders for your personal brand. The thing to remember here is that not always everybody's going to agree with you. They just have to respect your opinion.
If you see a chance to state an opinion that has potential for controversy and you actually firmly do believe that you're right, go ahead and let everybody else know. If you're right, you'll be credited with knowing better than everyone else. And if you're wrong, at least you've gotten your name out there. As said before, don't be afraid to actually admit if it turns out you were wrong. Takeaways from this lecture. Take every chance you can get to help people. It's actually a great way to establish yourself as a teacher and an authority. Not to mention the positive impression you'll make on people. Always go the extra mile and do just a little bit better than your competitors are willing to do. Whether it's being more active on social media or blogging more often. The more people you know, the easier it will be to become an authority. So focus heavily on networking. Try to be a person who takes charge and acts like a leader. Even if you know more than most people in your niche, don't brag about it. Being humble is key to being an authority figure that people not only respect, but also like. You should also make sure that you're never rude or condescending, as that will only make you look insecure. Admitting when you're wrong, or that you've made a mistake, will let people relate to you. Stirring up a little bit of controversy may not always be a bad thing, especially if you believe firmly in what is being said. In the next lecture, we're going to learn about actionable steps to become an authority.